Hello everybody and welcome back. So today's episode is going to be a bit shorter. I'm only going to be going over the museum day event. I know I said I was going to do the farm, but I figured I'd wait until tomorrow so that I can do a video where I do the farm and the zen area. Put it all in one video, have it be a longer video, a better video, and instead of it being like overrun by the museum day stuff. There was actually a message sent in the mail, or not in the mail, in the news thing that tells you all about it. Um, you can read it if you'd like. One important thing to note is it does happen between May 18th to May 31st. So if you are just now starting out on this game or you for some reason are just now getting the museum update, you know, any number of events, you can still, you'll still have enough time to do it and you shouldn't have any trouble with that. I know some people may be worried like, oh, I'm getting Animal Crossing it like tomorrow, what am I gonna do? You should still be able to get it if you are able to like get your museum up in time. So just keep that in mind. We can see I'm actually on Angel's account right now because I've already done some of this on my account. I haven't actually done the stamp rally. I still have no idea what all that's about. So we're gonna go through that, but I thought I'd put what Isabel says. She says, in honor of International Museum Day, the museum will hold a stamp rally from May 18th to May 31st. Doesn't that sound like fun? I hope everyone heads over to the museum and joins in the rally. Basically, what I understand is you get stamps or you have to find stamps in the museum or something like that. I haven't done this. This is me doing it for the first time. All I've really done is like seen Blathers and he told me about it. And that is why I'm on uh, Angel's account, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So before we get into anything too serious, I did... Oh, I lost which controller is mine. Um, we did... Uh, I looked at my flowers this morning, and we did get a pink hyacinth. And that's one of the ones that I, like, really wanted, so that's actually a good thing. I think we're almost done with our flower area. As we can see, we have, like, a lot of them. I'm still missing the purple... Hyacinth, the black and I think orange lily, the black cosmos, the purple pansy, and uh, the blue and purple, I believe. What is this? I forgot what this is called, but one of those. I actually wonder if I can even do this with two players or if Blathers will get mad at me about doing that. Although, if we can do it with two players, does that mean we get double the rewards or... Oh, I haven't even met Blathers on this account. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I, it may actually let me. Today, in honor of International Museum Day, we're holding a stamp rally. It works thusly. The bug, fish, and fossil galleries each have three stamp stations. You must find the stations within the, each gallery and acquire the necessary stamps to earn a prize. Okay, so we do get a prize for it. You can earn three unique prizes, one for completing the rally in each of the three galleries. Who? it's true. Oh, that's cool, okay. Do be sure to give it a go whilst pursuing the museum's many fine exhibits. Alrighty, so let's just go left to right, I guess. So we'll go bug, and then we'll go fossils, and then we'll go fish. I wonder if there's a certain, like, w area that they spawn at? I don't know what they- I've seen the one that is in the trailer, but I don't know the different areas that they're in, and apparently I can't go around that way. <laughs> I think he said, are there th three in each area? Oh, here's one, okay. Sometimes it's nice to take a short breather and relax on the bench. Okay, quiet- oh, okay, bug farms. Butterfly garden. Oh, so I'm guessing one stamp area is going to be in the butterfly garden. One is going to be in maybe the ant farm area. Okay, let me see if I have to switch users to do angels. Yep, I do. That's just another annoying thing to add into my uh, why I hate Animal Crossing list. That was a joke. I don't actually hate Animal Crossing. I just hate some of their decisions. Okay, and look at that. It's right here. <laughs> that was easy. So it does seem to give you hints on where they are, which is pretty cool. The only issue that obviously you've seen me run into is if you have multiple characters that you want to have get the rewards or anything like that, then you're going to have a little bit of trouble having to switch the party leader every single time. Or you could just tell them, play on your own time. That's what I would do. Usually I wouldn't play as Angel while doing this, but I only did it so that you guys can see the text and dialogue that blathers gives up oh, and just as i thought there's one near the ant farm as well 
I wonder what happens after we get our final one. Does it say? Okay, it does tell you that you collected all of them. And I wonder what the reward will be, because I'm going to be getting double of it. So let's actually, before going to the fossil area, let's go ahead and see what Blathers gives us for this one. And then we'll move on. Okay, it's a furniture item. I'm gonna... Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. So he stamps it, showing that we did complete it. Okay. You finished the stamp rally in the bug exhibit. Your willingness to explore the bug rooms with such gusto is admirable. I myself find lingering there quite impossible. That's actually a thing to think about. Whenever you donate a bug to Blathers, is he the one who goes into the bug room to place it in there? Because that's like... That's like going into a room with your biggest fears, like all of your biggest fears. Any hoot, here's the prize that was promised. I should now present you with a completion stamp. And then he gives you the stamp, I don't really care. <laughs> Let's see what this reward is. A bug plaque? Uh, do they mean like this thing on the wall? Cause that's a plaque. Like the, oh, that would be so cool if they gave us this fish thing. The fossil thing and the bug thing. I wish I could get the uh, art thing as well, but I don't know about that. Let's go ahead and do the fossil exhibit and the fish exhibit as well. I also, from what I've seen on Twitter, I believe a lot of areas have different stamp locations. Like mine is over there, you can see it. But I saw a lot of people's was right here and you could like see the entire area. So your stamp carts are not gonna be in the same place as mine are, just keep that in mind. Ah, oh, shoot, I just passed one. Dang it. <laughs> I only noticed it after I went through. Although, I guess while we're in here, we can... Oh, okay, there is one in here. Alrighty, and with that, we've gotten all of the fossil ones. My camera's in, like, a weird... Oh, it's, like, locked to this. That's so weird. Is that a bug? I don't know. That's really weird, actually. And then Blathers gives us the completion stamp. And I'm guessing this is going to be called, like, a, a fossil plaque or... Yeah, fossil... I was going to say fossil or dinosaur plaque, so the last one will be a fish plaque. Oh, well this is easy. <laughs> Why are they together? They're like right next to each other. I guess this does make it faster, but at the same time it's like... It kind of makes it less cool that I have to see less, I guess. Like they should have had some counter where they spread them out a little bit more. Imagine you just get all of them in the same room. That would be so sad if you were a little kid wanting to, for some reason, were looking forward to museum day and you only got to explore like none of the rooms basically. Okay, it's not in the shark room, so I'm guessing it's in the other shark room. Oh, it's up here, okay. This is actually the room that the trailer took place in. Except the cart was down below, not up front, or up top over here where it is, so... It's kind of like playing hide-and-seek if hide-and-seek were a lot less fun. I feel like this event, if you can even call it that, I feel like it's just filler. I feel like they just went, well, people are gonna be a bit bored after May Day, because May Day was also kind of a filler event that I feel... They did only to bring Rover back. I feel like this one they were like, oh, people are gonna be a bit bored on this day. Why not put in a stamp rally event? I, I, I don't know. I don't like this event very much. I didn't like the May Day event as well. I think if they're gonna do this stuff in the future, they need to maybe not make them as frequent or make them a bit more worthwhile. Like, I like Blathers and Celeste and all, but going around collecting stamps for a plaque does not really... It's it's not my cup of tea. Well, that's kind of embarrassing that I just said that because now he's like, to think you've enjoyed the stamp rally to such a degree. I can't help but puff my feathers with pride. Well, Blathers, for you, I guess I enjoyed it. But for the sake of content, I did not enjoy it. Well, okay, I guess let's go see how all of these look inside the house. Obviously, since these are plaques, they're going to be going in the trophy room. I'm guessing they're going to be somewhat like the Happy Home Designer plaque, so I'm going to try and move this. Okay, so first we got the bug. Oh, they are! They're like the uh, museum thingies. This actually is a worthwhile reward. I know I just said it wasn't. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, why do I need this? And now I don't know where to put this thing. Alright, this thing is being moved over here, just because I don't feel like that's very wanted. <laughs> 
it, everyone gets this, I think. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, let's actually, before I end this video, let's put them in Angel's house as well. At least one good thing is that Angel gets some new decorations. Well, because I don't have anywhere to put them in Angel's house, I think I'm just gonna put them against some wall. I mean, obviously I'm gonna put them on a wall. I just don't know, I guess this one is the only one that it can really go on. If you're going to put these down, I do recommend having the three plaques from the HHA. It just doesn't look very good normally. Like, Angel doesn't have them yet because her house isn't very good. So, these don't really fit in. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.